examples of continuous variation. We have so far looked at intelligence. Intelligence is one of the examples of continuous variation. For instance, if we are to consider the most brilliant homo sapiens on planet Earth, that is individuals, we can date back to the, the ages of Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein was very, very brilliant. Our own, the father of genetics, Gregor Mendel. But also, when we come to our generation, we have brilliant, brilliant scientists who have come up with smartphones. Then Albert Einstein, who did think of that? You see that the intelligence goes on varying. It changes with time. And in a given sample of a population, at a given time, people will vary in terms of intelligence. Another example here we can give, um, we can look at skin color. Now, don't compare the blacks with the, the whites. Let us consider a, pop, a black community like in Uganda here. I have melanin and therefore my skin is, is black to say. But I'm not totally black as the word black suggests. Maybe I'm chocolate. Brown. What you wish to say. But you find other individuals are light skinned. In the same country here. Others are totally black with concentrated melanin. They are melanocytes, the cells which produce melanin, and melanin that is the black pigment. Why do we have black pigment here? Is to it protects us from the ultraviolet light from the sunlight. That 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 light is a bit dangerous and it can be carcinogenic. It can cause cancer if you're not protected. So we have cells in our body which are stimulated to produce melanin and those cells are called melanocytes how do we come up with those cells they they these cells produce enzymes and these enzymes as we shall go to advanced level biology we see that they are protein in nature that one we know ourselves but they are instructed those cells are instructed to produce those particular pigment, or that pigment, melanin, by genes, and we are studying genetics. Therefore, those proteins which are enzyme in nature, or the, 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 that those proteins which catalyze the processes which lead to the production of that pigment known as melanin, are as a result of genes and it is the light from the sun that stimulates the melanocytes to produce melanin therefore we find that different people have different concentrations of melanin if i can say like that but at times it is due to heredity but still you find in the same family Siblings are having variations in their skin color and there is no clear cut difference that we shall have light skinned and brown. My friends, another one is totally black, another one is chocolate. So skin color also continuously varies. Another interesting example we can give here is the crop yield. The yield of crops. You might find a banana plant 
producing bunches of different size but on the same banana plant. You might find beans in a given sample of bean plants producing pods of different sizes. Even when they are mature, one bean plant can produce pods of different sizes and also the seeds in those pods. Therefore, crop yields also continuously. So basically, that is continuous variation. Those are some of the examples of continuous variation. We have tried to give the definition of continuous variation and we are also going to give that we have also given the explanation now we want to see really what it means we've tried to explain it define it give examples now we want to illustrate it and how can we do that we can only do that using a graph